people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, this video is called What a Difference Miss Universe versus Miss World Makes. What a difference in the result. We are speaking about Ayana Garcia, Miss Universe versus Tony and Singh, Miss World 2019. Now, people, this is a big accomplishment for Jamaica because it is the fourth time in which a Jamaican lady has won this pageant we are talking about Miss World. We are speaking about Lisa Hanna in 1993, and we know that presently she is a member of parliament. We are speaking about Carol Joan Crawford, we are speaking about in 1963, and we are also speaking about Cindy Breakspear, we are speaking about in 1976. And you know that Cindy Breakspear is the mother of Jonah Gong Marley, we are speaking about her girlfriend or a wife our baby mother of Bob Marley, the legendary reggae artist. Now, people, what makes this win so impressive is that this lady we are talking about, Tony and Singh, she has brains, she has talent, she has bass. And when I talk about bass, me I talk about her banging body. And she fits all criteria of what a woman or any man would look for in a woman. Now, people, this lady is a graduate of Florida State University and she mastered or majored in women's study and psychology. So, people, there is where the brains come in. Now, what makes this lady so impressive is the fact that as soon as she won this pageant, she made an inspirational speech or she made an inspirational post on social media and this is exactly what the caption read and like me say this was dedicated or aimed at all the women out there we are speaking about women from the ghetto we are talking about jamaican women we are speaking about women all over the world and this is exactly what the caption read please believe in yourself and know that you are worthy or capable of achieving your dreams now, people, let me ask you a question. It shows that she is a selfless person. It shows that she is trying to inspire other youths out there, other women out there. And like me say, she masters in women's study at the University of Florida, or Florida State University, sorry. So we are talking about a lady that has her goals. I am speaking about a lady that has aspirations and dreams for also uplift other women. So people, we are speaking about somebody that we should look up to. We are speaking about an inspiration for not only Jamaica, but women overall, point blank and period. Now people, when I speak about talent, I am speaking about a girl with a golden voice. And based on her performance in the pageant in the talent section, she sang Whitney Houston's song, I Have Nothing on People. When me thought about it was flawless, you would have thought that it was America Have Talent or Rete and Lele. It was up there with the best of the best of them, point blank and period. And now when we talk about personality, when she was asked the question in the question segment, who is her inspiration? She could have brought up anybody that everybody knows in the world, but this young lady said that her mother is her biggest inspiration. And the reason why is that the mother made a lot of sacrifice to make sure so she achieved her goal. Because people like me tell you, she is a graduate of Florida State University. She have her degree. She have her master's. So therefore, she is saying that the mother made a lot of sacrifice. The mother sacrificed her own career. Her own finances for make sure say our daughter achieve or her daughter made a bigger impact in the world than she did and people this is exactly what this young lady is doing she is an inspiration to everybody we are talking about Jamaica we are talking about everybody in the world point blank and period now when we think about this win and the impact that it is going to have on Jamaica people it is vast because remember Jamaica is just recovering from that debacle in the Miss Universe thing where this lady wore this costume we are speaking about Annie Palmer we are talking about the White Witch of Rosal so therefore that brought shame to Jamaica based upon the fact that they made a mistake 
So my point is that we saw that Rosal Production and also Izuru, we are speaking about the producers and also the person that created this costume, did not have the foresight to realize the negative impact that this costume was going to have on a world stage such as Miss Universe. So people, the moral of the story is that by Tony Ann Singh winning Miss World competition, she brought back some pride, she brought back some dignity to Jamaica. She basically did some damage control for what was done by Miss Universe, point blank and period. And people, we saw that she was getting congratulations from the Prime Minister of Jamaica. I may mean, talk about Andrew Hollis. I am speaking about the Opposition Minister. I am speaking about Peter Village. And I am also speaking about Bob Zegrange, who is in charge of entertainment rate and lele for jamaica because them realize the impact that it is going to have and also the tourist minister also chimed in and basically congratulate her and what this competition proves is that Jamaica is a set of beautiful people and it has the most beautiful women in the world. And I am not just talking about beauty. I am speaking about talent. I am speaking about we are a set of persons that are inspiration. We are an inspiration to the world. And also, based on what is going on in Jamaica right now, with all the C-R-I-M-E and Rete and Lele, it is good to restore pride. It is good to make people feel good once again, even in a some bad situation. So people, we are speaking about inspiration. We are speaking about this is putting a smile on the faces of Jamaica, even in a some desolate time, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. So the next thing that is popping in the news is that little controversy and drama as it pertains to Miss Jamaica Universe and that costume that she wore at the pageant kind of promoting Annie Palmer, we are speaking about the White Witch of Rose All. But people, if we understand exactly what happened, this is the reason why. This costume was sponsored by Rose All Development. We are speaking about the Rollins family from the United States. We are speaking about some wealthy purses. Now, people, we have to understand that when people are sponsoring you, they are putting themselves first. They are not putting Jamaica first. They are not putting the situation as it pertains to Jamaica and the slavery and the issue of things that happened in the past. So in other words, they are putting themselves, they are putting their company above brand Jamaica. People, it is all about being selfish. Now we see that this young lady is getting a lot of bashing past social media because persons are saying, and when I say persons, I am speaking about mostly Jamaican. They are saying that the white witch of Rose all basically represents slavery. It represents a bad history in a Jamaica. But people, the truth and the fact is that we cannot blame her because she was sponsored by a company. And yes, it was a mistake. And yes, they dropped the ball. However, they were not thinking very smart. They were not thinking constructively they were not thinking about the damage that is going to be done so therefore now we see that they are coming out and they are doing damage control and they are claiming that it is a part of jamaican history and the truth and the fact is that it is indeed a part of jamaica history but it is not something that we want to promote or highlight on a global stage such as miss universe or even miss world rate and lele so people them drop the ball point blank and period so when we consider exactly what happened, we see that these persons were insensitive and should have realized that this was going to offend Jamaican. But people like me say, when it comes to some persons of privilege, because of their status in society, they feel like they can do just about everything. And like me say, they are putting themselves first. They are not putting Jamaica first because more than likely these persons, we are speaking about the Rollins family. They are some rich person that kind of feel entitled. And you know that when it pertains to people that are entitled they feel like they can do just about everything because like the saying goes money talk and bs walk so therefore if them have money they feel like they have the privilege to do whatever they so choose point blank and period 
And people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. The white witch of Rose Hall we are speaking about Annie Palmer is in the history of Jamaica. So therefore you cannot erase it. However, when you think about the bitter taste that it leaves in the mouth of Jamaican, we are speaking about as it pertains to the transatlantic slave trade. People, it is not a very good look. This is not something that we should have promoted. This is not something that we should have overlooked. So people, my point is this, when we take everything into consideration, we are speaking about the promoters and the designer of this costume. We are speaking about Azori. They should have put more thought into this before they actually put this lady in this costume on a global stage, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.